all, and welcome back. Blue Force Gear 10 speed chest rig. This one is pretty cool. And I picked this one up expressly with the intent of giving it away. Although I am kind of regretting that maybe because I really actually like it. I would need to adjust it a lot, like permanently. <laughs> uh, this thing will, it will fit a large human being. Like, I don't care how big you are, this thing is going to fit. So for someone my size, I'm really cranking it in. And, and so there's a lot of excess that I would just cut off and melt down the ends. But what's cool about this one is it's all-inclusive. You don't have to buy extra. Well, I added the TQ pouch, but you don't have to buy separate like pouches for the AR mags. It's all just in there. You've got a little bit of extra molly. You could add some pistol mag pouches or do some pistol mag pouches on this side and you can put your tourniquet over here. But the configuration I'm giving it away in will be the rig with a recon medical tourniquet inside of this 1110 pouch, which is held on with a malice clip. It's super duper on there. And I'm gonna give that away as the bundle. Magazines not included. <laughs> so, Again, on the topic of chest rigs, is this something you need? Well, if you're a rifle shooter, if you're an AR person, I think it's a great thing to have. Like, is it a absolute must have? Yeah, probably not. But it's a cool thing to have. And as long as ammo is crazy stupid expensive, this is a great time to pick up some of those gear items that you may have been putting off or thinking, well, I don't really need that. Totally. But hey, you can't afford to buy any damn ammo. Might as well get all geared up and LARP out in your backyard or your garage or your guest room or whatever space you have and practice your mag changes, your up drills with the rifle. Uh, I've been out here practicing, just kind of checking out to see what my pistol draws feel like. You know, does this get in the way of my mag changes or anything like that? And so far, it's pretty damn cool. Again, I'm 5'11", one's like 58, call it 160. So on my frame, this thing kind of pulls around more than it might on your frame. But even still, I don't, I don't feel like I'm like, you know, all kitted up where it's obnoxious. It's a nice streamline. I could get down in the prone with a single layer of mags. It's not going to be awkward or feel like I'm teeter-tottering or anything. Very cool setup. It's all like one just big old piece of stuff. We'll take it over to the table and get a closer look. All right, so I got a little bit of wind going on here. So if that's picking up on the microphone, I apologize. So here's a closer look at the Blue Force Gear 10-speed chest rig. Note, this is a 20-round mag, and it's got a little room down in the bottom, but it is in there securely. I wanted to see how that shook down and totally works. Let's go ahead and get these other mags out of here. So these are held in with elastic sleeves and there are long-term reviews of these out on the YouTubes. And people basically seem to indicate that these will get a little stretchy over time, but they still retain enough tension to keep doing their job. So they may not look super pretty, you know, they'll get a little blown out here, kind of like your mom, uh, but they'll still do the job. At the top, you have a great big generous pocket. You could put maps or Snickers bars or whatever you need in there. Uh, as mentioned, I've got a tourniquet weaved on here. You could, I probably could have even set that one row down and been a little bit lower, but I like, I don't like things dangling down below it where it starts, if you have to bend over at the waist, it starts pinching you. So I wanted it up nice and high. Here's the back strap. Notice I have this, like I went crazy on looping this back around and around and around inside of itself. So most, especially of you fellas, would want to undo all of this, but I've left it all intact. So this will fit I mean, if you're 350, 400 pounds, I, this will still fit. It is gigantic. 
And this obviously goes around the back, and clicks in on the other side. Uh, same thing with my chest straps here. So the H harness, again, we've got H harness as opposed to the X harness where it kind of crisscrosses and can have a tendency to bind up behind your neck. We've got H style harness. And on me, this comes way down to like the middle of my back. But if you were a taller, larger person, it would come up closer to your neck. And then I have these straps done around and around and around inside of themselves to make them small enough for me. Uh, like I said, if I was going to keep this, I would just cut a whole ton of this off and streamline it all. But I'm leaving it so that it will fit pretty much any sized person. And that's pretty much it. There's no, you know, there's nothing on the back. There's no Velcro stuff. This isn't designed to affix to a plate carrier or anything like that. It's a standalone unit, but it comes in at a price point and I forget right off the top of my head how much I paid for it, but it's somewhere, I want to say like 80 bucks or something like that, 85 or something, but it's just, you're, you're one and done. Like it's all there as far as your, you don't have to buy separate, you know, individual pouches, which start, you know, to buy like four tacos ends up being like 150 bucks or something. So it's all there. And then if you wanted to add like a single or maybe two singles or a double, could even go crazy and fit a triple mag pouch on either side, medical, some kind of water bottle container holder thing or something. You've got some options and yet it still stays very streamlined, low key. Well, <laughs> low key meaning you could throw like a large flannel or a light jacket over this and kind of make it disappear. Obviously, multicam isn't low key, like it's not gray man or anything like that, but it's, uh, it's slimline, low profile. So it's all super high quality. I don't know what this stuff that Blue Force uses, I don't know what it's made out of, but it's incredibly strong and also incredibly lightweight. So it's not gonna, you know, it's not padded or posh or plush or anything like that, but it's so damn light, it doesn't need to be padded or plush. And the straps are wide enough that they don't bind, they don't bind in and pinch on you or anything. Really, really comfortable. Uh, it's a little, like I said, the, the whole thing is a little bit big on someone as thin as I am, but it's still really, really, really comfortable. And I find that the tighter I have it in, like cinched in on me, the more comfortable it is. So it really kind of locks onto your body and it feels like it's you're one with the unit and it's not a thing that's all flappy and flopping around on you. Really, really cool stuff. All right, and so that's kind of it. Blue Force Gear, made in America. They make legit stuff. I can get behind it. I won't be getting much testing and evaluating in it because I doubt I'll even take this one to the range. I'm trying to keep it pristine and in giveaway condition. Buy me a coffee end of this month. That's March 2021. Buy me a coffee drawing. Each $5 donation gets one ticket into the drawing to win this sucker. All of this except the mags and the knife. Those are mine. Anyway, it's super good stuff, y'all. And I need your support. So get on down into the description and find the link and hook it up and do the thing. Make sure you hit the like button and share these videos with your friends and all that good stuff. All right. Until next time, be easy, y'all.